Hey Vikes, today we have another video game story. I'm Allie and this is SVTV. With the increased car break-ins, make sure everything is closed and locked, especially your laptops. The Writing Center closes on December 14th during seminar. Anybody interested in working on the crew for Legally Blonde the Musical must pick up audition forms today. The Seaman Players Holiday Show is Thursday at 6.30. Applications to work in the Writing Center are due on the 11th. After the break, we'll tell you what color to wear at the games tonight. Like this, wow! I've never seen hair like it. Okay. Pretty, pretty. Okay, wow. okay, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Man, how do you get your hair like this? This is actually nice. Like, I, I love this kind of style. You can just do conditioner, conditioner. Cut it out, please. Okay. You should turn on the TV. Yeah, channel five. Okay. Hurry up! I'm bored. Channel five. Uh, so This guy, and his name was Zach. Did you run, run, run? Did you run, run? That guy, Zach, was a hack. Did you run, run, run? Did you run, run? Did you, yeah? He was on the attack. Did you, yeah? Live improv? Desserts! Only $3. That's Buck Wild! Craziness! Zooey Mama! Come see our holiday show! The school musical this year is Legally Blonde and it's coming up soon. Clinics are December 3rd and 4th at 3.30. Auditions are December 5th at 3.30 and callbacks are December 6th at 3.30. For more details, see Mrs. Murphy and W7 or Mr. Bond in the choir room. The first basketball games of the season are tonight. Come out to Lansing and support. Wear blue. Now over to weatherman Josh Duncan for the daily forecast. Good afternoon to you. After we had some precipitation over the weekend and actually through yesterday, picking up 1.41 inches. Now just a tenth of that fell as snow. Today should be drier. Flurries decreasing after the morning hours. High of just 33 degrees today and temperature is pretty steady in the low to mid 30s all the way through sunset. So yes, it's another cold day today. We're tracking changes heading into tomorrow. It should be a sunny and more mild day tomorrow, but there is a chance of a very light wintry mix tomorrow night, probably sometime between midnight and 3 a.m. Not expected to cause major travel issues, but just be mindful that there could be some slick spots Thursday morning. And then we are looking at some cold weather returning for the end of the week and into the weekend. Let's check this out here on your SVTV 7-day forecast. You can see the highs in the 30s from Thursday through Sunday. And we're also monitoring a system for Friday night into Saturday. Currently, most of the precipitation looks to remain in southern Kansas and Oklahoma, but this is a system that will continue to watch over the next few days. Now, Allie, back to you. That's all for today, Vikes. We're leaving you with a story about the new Super Smash Bros. game. Have a great rest of your day. Super Smash Bros. is the ultimate fighting crossover game, including many different franchises. With Super Smash Bros. Ultimate coming out on December 7th for the Nintendo Switch, I go around the school asking some of our students and teachers which characters they're glad are coming and returning for the Ultimate Crossover. I normally play as Link. Well, I'm glad they're bringing back Link. 
I usually play Link or Ike. Probably, I think King Dedede mainly. Ness. Ness is so fun to play. Pichu. I'm, I would explain it, but it's a really stupid explanation. Snake was my jam and brawl, and I always chose Snake. Along with returning characters and Echo Fighters, there are many new fierce newcomers as well, like Ridley from Metroid, Simon and Richter from Castlevania, Isabella from Animal Crossing, and Incineroar from Pokemon. As newcomers and veterans alike are excited to play the new characters. I'm gonna say Ridley, just because he's he looks like a neat fighter, he's a dragon, so yeah. See, at first, I just thought Ridley and King K. Rool were pretty cool, but then Isabel showed up. That was the that was the one that everyone thought that was never happening, and then it, it happened. I'm pretty excited about that. Isabella. Piranha Plant, obviously. Piranha Plant. Um, I think PD Piranha is going to be interesting. Unlike most games nowadays, you actually have to unlock the content, and you can't just buy your stages and fighters. I honestly prefer unlocking them because it gives you that sense of achievement instead of just grinding for the cash. Um, I like the fact that you can unlock them and not buy them as much. And I think it's kind of different that they're like, you know, trying to do something different with the campaign mode. I love the fact that you have to actually play the game rather than purchasing like all of your new characters. If you just got to purchase it and just have these top tier characters for money, then it wouldn't be fair. I like the fact that you have to work and be good at the game to have top tier characters. Masahiro Sakurai, the creator and director of the Smash Bros series, works very hard to give the Smash community an amazing game. Some people think he's even the best out there. He's an amazing dude. I mean, he made two successful series and they're still going strong. Yeah, I think he put a lot of effort into the games and I have a lot of respect for him. Uh, I think he is playing favoritism with his uh, character Kirby in World of Light, and he was the only one to survive. I wonder why. I think the guy needs a break. He's been working uh, nonstop on the Smash series. So he just needs a vacation. With a total of 74 fighters, 103 stages, nearly a thousand musical tracks, with many new modes and features spanning across 32 franchises, this is truly the ultimate crossover 